everyone, it's Nick from Leet Speak Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you a few tricks on, well, messing with your school's network. I don't know about you, but they just annoy me. First of all, they have filters set up so that you can't do anything fun. No gaming websites, really anything that they haven't passed is off limits. Well, few of us have figured out a couple ways to get past that. Now, actually, there's about three or four ways, but I was unable to track down one of them. So, well, you get some of them. Yay, you. Alright, first, what you're going to want to do is open up the Start menu. Whoops, it closed. Open up the Start menu, press Run, then type in CMD and hit, well, Run. Now, your school may have blocked Command Prompt. Uh, don't worry about it. You can, if you haven't seen any other video like this, then let me tell you that you can make another one. Real easy. Then you can say Woot Sauce. So, if it's blocked, right click the desktop, and it's taking forever. New. <clears throat> and then hit Text Document, right there. It's going to come up as new text document, just leave it there, it's fine. Now um, hit enter, or double click it, whatever, just bring it up. Alright, then you just need to type in a uh, simple word, or two really, command.com. That's it. Now, go to file, then hit save as. Now in the name box, you can type in command, command F, uh, my command, my commander, my commando, my general. For all I really care, you can type in noodles. It really doesn't matter, just save it as noodles.bat, dot bat, and then hit save. And uh, look at that, little new icon appeared on my desktop right there. It's going to look something like that. Double click that, and it'll open up to look like this. And it'll give you that line first, then if you wait a minute, it'll give you a few more lines. There we go. Alright, now type in ping space www. Dot whatever website you want. Let's use YouTube for an example. Then hit enter. Then it's going to wait a second, and it's going to give you four codes. Believe me, they're all the same. That is the IP address for the website. Now, you can't copy and paste it in command prompt, but there's another way that you'll learn later. So, take that code, go back into your web browser, go into your address bar, and type in the digits, periods included. and then hit enter. <laughs> Tie in gay. And ta-da! You are at YouTube. Isn't that magical? Alright, now for some strange reason, if that doesn't work for you, there is another way. Do not worry. That's what I'm here for. So go ahead and close this if you really want to. You can delete the command prompt thing. If you log off or shut your computer off, the next time you open it, it'll start flipping out. Just make a new one. It's not that hard. Now, look up something called an IP address locator, finder, generator, whatever. They're kind of hard to find nowadays, but there are a few good ones left. Uh, usually they'll just tell you your own IP address. That's not what you want. Now this one I've got right here, um, this will be in the video's description if you want it, right over there. So just type in a website, let's again use YouTube for an example, and then hit the button right there. And then give it about five seconds or so. And there you have it. Doesn't that number look familiar? It's the same IP address you had earlier. 
that one you can highlight highlight copy and go to a tab in your browser or another page it really doesn't matter and then just paste sorry about the slowness of all the movements here but uh in my computer seems to be having a bit of a spaz moment today it's all good though cuz you're listening to me anyway cuz you love me maybe not i'm talking to myself pretty much all right so hit in the ip address and <laughs> you're back at youtube here we are so that's all the IP address ways. Those will almost always work. Rock on. Now, if for some strange reason they don't, there are two other ways. One of which is a really hard, and I have I kind of forgot how to do it. <clears throat> it requires a lot of numbers. Okay, don't blame me. But um, you can use a proxy. Uh, really I don't want to explain that so just go look up hide my ass yeah yeah I know just look it up it'll be the first site right here hide my ass and that'll take you anywhere you want without it actually being you so go into this little text box here type in whatever website you want let's once again use YouTube as an example and hit this little button right here obviously named for the purpose it's given and there you go you're at YouTube and this little thing up here is gonna come up but um yeah so there you have it um if you have any ideas for things you need to know about your computer don't be afraid to ask me because I'm here and I probably know alright now if you're looking for some time to be able to do this here's a fun little trick that I learned go into go back into your command prop type in shut down space dash I and hit enter don't worry it won't shut you down it'll actually give you this convenient menu this will shut down any computer in your school's network just press add type in the name of the computer it'll be your school's name and then a number usually you can type in when it will shut down how long it's gonna take and you can type in a message anything you want error administrator error you just got pwned really anything you want it's all there for you and that'll keep your teacher busy for a minute or two while you go get some good gaming on with your new IP address knowledge well I guess that's really it thanks for watching my name's Nick and this has been Elite Speak Production now go do something useful with your life I didn't mean it <laughs>